Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the basic properties of complex numbers. So given the complex number z is equal to x plus jy, where j is the square root of minus 1, and this is also equal to r times e power j theta, where r is equal to square root of x square plus y square, and theta is the phase of the complex number z. Then its conjugate z star is equal to x minus jy, which is equal to r times e power minus j theta. So given this information, let us prove some properties of complex numbers. The first one is that the product of the complex number z with its conjugate z star should be equal to the square of the amplitude, that is r square. So starting with the LHS, we have z into z star is equal to x plus jy multiplied by x minus jy. Now the product is x square plus y square, that is product of jy with it, minus jy is y square. Next we have x times minus jy, which is minus j x y, and then we have j times x into y. Therefore, z into z star, that is product of the complex number with its conjugate, is equal to x square plus y square, which is equal to r square by definition, that is r is given by square root of x square plus y square. The next property is the ratio of a complex number z with its conjugate, its conjugate is given by e power j times 2 theta. Starting with LHS, we have z is given by r into e power j theta and z star is given by r into e power minus j theta and this is equal to e power j theta minus of minus j theta which is clearly equal to e power j times 2 theta. Next the property is the sum of a complex number with its, with its conjugate is equal to 2 times the real part of the complex number. So by definition L, LHS becomes x plus jy plus x minus jy which is equal to 2 times x and x is the real part of the complex number z. So this is equal to 2 times real part of complex number z. The next property is the difference between complex number z and its conjugate z star should be equal to 2j times the imaginary component of the complex number z. So LHS is x plus jy minus of x minus jy which is clearly equal to 2j into y and y is the imaginary component of z. So this is equal to 2j times imaginary component of z. Next property is distribution of conjugation, that is z1 plus z2 conjugate should be equal to z1 conjugate plus z2 conjugate. So starting with LHS, we have z1 plus z2 whole conjugate is equal to x1 plus jy1 plus x2 plus jy2. It is we basically assume that z1 is equal to x1 plus jy1 and z2 is equal to x2 plus jy2. So this is equal to x1 plus x2 plus j times y1 plus y2 whole conjugate. Now this is like a single complex number where the real part is x1 plus x2 and the imaginary part is y1 plus y2. So the conjugate is x1 plus x2 minus j times y1 plus y2. And again, by rewriting the sum, we have z1 conjugate plus z2 conjugate because this is x1 minus j y1 which is z1 conjugate and x2 minus j times y2 which is z2 conjugate. Next property is related to distribution of conjugation over a product that is a times z1 z2 whole conjugate is equal to a times z1 conjugate into z2 conjugate. So starting with LHS we have a into z1 into z2 whole conjugate is equal to a times r1 e power j theta 1 multiplied by r2 e power j theta 2 whole conjugate. Now we have to write this product as a single complex number which is equal to a times r1 r2 which is a 
amplitude component and then we have the phase which is j times theta 1 plus theta 2 and conjugate and the conjugate of this complex number is clearly equal to a times r1 r2 multiplied by e power minus j into theta 1 plus theta 2 and again rewriting the products we have a times r1 into e power minus j theta 1 and then r2 times e power minus j theta 2 which is clearly equal to a times z1 star that is g1 conjugate and z2 conjugate hence the property is proved the next property is distribution of conjugation property that is conjugate of ratio of two complex numbers is equal to ratio of the conjugates of the original complex numbers starting with LHS we have R1 times e power plus j theta 1 over R2 times e power j theta 2 whole conjugate and this is equal to R1 by R2 multiplied by e power j theta 1 minus theta 2 and we have a conjugate now this is like a single complex number where the amplitude is R1 by R2 and phase is theta 1 minus theta 2 its conjugate is clearly equal to R1 by R2 multiplied by e power minus j into theta 1 minus theta 2. Upon rewriting, we have R1 into e power minus j theta 1 divided by R2 into e power minus j theta 2. This is clearly equal to Z1 conjugate divided by Z2 conjugate. Final property is the real part of the ratio Z1 by Z2 is equal to 1 by 2 that is half of the sum of z1 z2 star plus z1 star z2 divided by the product of z2 with its conjugate. So starting with LHS we have real part of x1 plus jy1 divided by x2 plus jy2 which is equal to this is the LHS real part of x1 plus jy1 and then we multiply with x2 minus jy2 in both to the both the numerator and the denominator that is we have x2 minus jy2 divided by x2 plus jy2 into x2 minus jy2 the numerator is x1 x2 plus y1 y2 and then we have plus j y1 x2 minus j x1 y2 the denominator is x2 square plus y2 square so the denominator is clearly completely real so the real part of this complex number is equal to x1 x2 plus y1 y2 divided by x2 square plus y2 square so this is equation 1 or expression 1 now we have to prove that RHS also is equal to the same term that is 1 by 2 z1 z2 star plus z1 star z2 divided by z, z2 multiplied by z2 conjugate this is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by x1 plus jy1 multiplied by x2 minus jy2 the second term is x1 minus jy1 and x2 plus jy2 and the denominator is clearly equal to x2 square plus y2 square because this is the square of the amplitude of the complex number z2 it is equal to 1 by 2 and the product is x1 x2 j times j is minus 1 and we have minus so it is plus y1 y2 and then we have minus x1 y2 when j times minus x1 y2 and then we have plus j y1 x2 and then here we have x1 x2 plus y1 y2 the imaginary components are minus j y1 x2 and plus j x1 y2 
clearly the imaginary components cancel each other. That is x1, y2 cancels with plus x1, y2 and this y1, x2 cancels with minus y1, x2 and then x1 and we have x1, x2 repeating and y1, y2 also repeats and the denominator is unchanged. Therefore, this is equal to x1, x2 plus y1, y2 because we have a 2 in the numerator and a 2 in the denominator. So, that is the final result. Therefore, real part of the ratio z1 over z2 is equal to 1 by 2 z1 z2 star plus z1 star z2 divided by z2 multiplied by z2 star. Thanks for watching.